The Oregon legislative session ended in the beginning of July. So how did it go? Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Kim Thatcher joins us, Oregon House of Representatives. Thanks so much for being with us. This is your fifth term. Yes. You've been through split house. You've been through majority houses. How did this year go compared to the split house? Hmm. Well, I certainly enjoyed the split house because my side of the aisle, the Republicans, well, we meant a little bit more. We mattered a little bit more. This time it wasn't so much. Um, but I think some good things got accomplished. Um, but I think that I like, the split, split house like the split house better. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Better. Um, certainly. This year, the session ended uh, no new taxes. Right. That's a good thing. Um, what else? Well, there was more to spend this time, um, which made it a little easier budgeting. Um, there were, I'm, I'm sure, a lot of programs that would like to have had more money. It's usually the case. There's um, never an end to the good that can be done with other people's money, I like to say sometimes. But I think we left things pretty much, held things pretty much harmless, and we are prepared to um, go forward in case the budget goes down again. I think there's a little bit set aside for um, emergencies. So it, that you know, should, should be a good thing. And, and the economy's starting to pick up a little bit. It's hard to see, but it is starting to pick up. And I think that, that'll help a lot. Why you got into this in the first place, constituents. And yes. you've got to accomplish, even if it's for one person, you've got to accomplish uh, some, some new laws for constituents. Tell me about it. Well, I, you know, I have a constituent here in Yamhill County who was having a, an issue and she wanted to do a land use um, change on her property. And it resulted in her, uh, the, the county advising her, kind of you know, telling her that she needed to uh, do, take this particular action, which cost her a lot of money. Then it was realized that this was a mistake. The county said, wow, we owe you some money, but state law doesn't allow us to give that money back to you. So. Um, working with the uh, Department of Revenue and the county folks and, and the commissioners, we were able to, to figure out a way to allow for when you know, mistakes such as what was made with, right. with this constituent, you know, to deal with it. And so she can get her money back. So, that was, so that was in great. a small way, we're talking about breaking down government. Yes. Yes, in a way. And that, that's one of my, you know, that's one of the things that got me in the legislature to begin with. So. Now, I know one of your uh, pet peeves was voter registration. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, you know, last session, you know, well, many sessions, I've been working on voter registration issues. And you know, I realized that the state of Oregon does not have anything in statute requiring identification or residence, residency, you know, proof of residency like the federal government has. So wait a on, minute, to get a registration card, a voter registration card, you don't need any ID? You don't need it. You do not have to prove it. You can just send it in and you may be asked by your county folks to supply what is you know, what it says on the voter registration form. They'll say like your driver's license, last, uh, last four of your social security number, different things like that. Um, and if you, you don't provide those, you still get a ballot. But what happens is when you send your ballot to the county elections office, they're having to set it aside to be handled differently. So that costs money. But what's happening is they're not voting in the, set, in the federal elections like they may think they are. They're not. It doesn't not. count. No, it doesn't count for federal elections. But they can weigh in on state and local issues. All right. And so. I, know, I know that... Uh that didn't make it this nope. year, but uh, we'll look forward to seeing what happens I, in the next I think session. so, because I All think, right. you know, there are people opposed that I think are coming around, and I, I think it can happen. All so. right. Kim Thatcher, thank you very much for joining us, and we want to thank you for being here on Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.